Hello all, and welcome back to Creos Gaming. I am continuing my playthrough of, what am I playing? Morrowind. And we are working on jobs for the Thieves Guild. Um, we have bribed someone for a key and stolen diamonds from someone else. Um, the diamonds came in handy because I had to sell the diamonds to have enough to bribe the guy I needed for the key. Uh, it took me for a, a little bit to figure out that I did, in fact, need to bribe the guy for the key. Um, but once that was successful, uh, now I was expecting some kind of... Nothing in the basket, nothing in the basket, nothing in the basket. I was expecting some kind of dialogue option, but that's not what I was given. And so now, the next quest is to get Dwemer artifacts... And to do that, um, I have to go to Hla Ode. I don't know anything about Hla Ode. I don't know where that is. Whether it's still, like, whether it's a sub place here in, um, where am I? Yeah, where am I? Uh, Balmora. Or if it's somewhere out in the world. So I'm going to have to go find somebody to ask them about plot ode. And we'll start with this person over here just because, you know, she's here. We'll see. Quickly, Outlander, or go away. Okay. Um little advice. Outlanders new in Vardenfell do best in Balmora. Oswalu is Imperial through and through, and you get a good mix of native and imperial people and services. Not as friendly to Outlanders up north in House Redoran country. Or down in Big Vi Vivic City, and definitely not friendly out east with the Telvani wizards. Shop the outfitters, then check out the guilds for work. You want to be adapted, adopted by a great house, you need a patron, and that's easier when you've got a reputation. Oh, so that might mean that trying to do something with houses as opposed to guilds may not work. You may have to get a reputation through the guilds before you can even start talking to houses. That would be interesting. Alright, so maybe I need to find a guard instead. There were guards all around earlier. There's some. Your armor looks so weird. Excuse me, sir. Uh, I'm an officer of the Imperial Law. Move along. But... Dang it. Uh, goodbye. Okay, so let's go look at the world map. Aldera, Balmara, Monmoth Legion Fort. I guess I could go back and ask Habasi. I should have started with that now that I think about it. Except it wasn't highlighted blue, so I assumed I couldn't. Hmm. Because I don't know whether it's a world map location or location here or what? Roma artifacts. Oh, there we go. Hla Ode is a backwater town of fishermen southwest of Belmora. You can follow an old trail trail down the river Odai to get there. Haha! -ha! Excellent! Do you have anything to say about Hla Ode? Same thing. Oh, no, nope. there's also a Strider service from Vivek. Oh, so you could... That's interesting. Today is your lucky day. Is it? So let's hear it. Okay. Uh, you don't have any information about Hla Ode, though. Interesting that there's Strider service from Vivek to Hla Ode, but not from here. Must be because here is too close. Okay. So now, if I look at world... Wow. That looks like it's far away, but I guess we'll see. Um, now I have to figure out how to get out of here, though. Well, unless I just go try and take the Strider. Might as well see if I have to go to Vivek to take the Strider, or if I can just step on. And then if I can't just step on, I'll have to follow the river and see if I can't make it to Hla Ode. You know what? The fact that I don't have a weapon is starting to bug me. There we go. I feel better now. Excuse me. <coughs> okay. So 
Excuse me, sir. We make a special trip just for you. Same low price. Nope, I cannot go to Hlaod from here. Destination. Nope, because you only go to Aldrun, Surin, Vivek, or Sedanin. If I ask about the Silt Strider, you just tell me what they are. Hmm. This is weird. I don't remember how I... Oh, maybe I bartered? Travel. Vivek is 20 gold pieces. I guess I can travel to Vivek and then just travel back. But, eh, walking around the world sounds like it might be kind of interesting. I just have to figure out... how. And hope that I can follow directions well. Oh, hey, it says welcome. That's nice. Gives me the opportunity to do some running. See if I can't increase my athletics a little bit. Though I suppose I could be sneaking. I don't know if it... Like I said, though, I don't know if it works when I'm not near anything that being sneaky matters to. So probably ought to do that in town and sprint in the world. Right. What's this thing? It says Balmora. Good to know. Uh, I am now heading east, which is the wrong way. Whoops. Yeah, I need to head southwest, not east. Is there a road that goes southwest? No. Can't tell if there's a road, but there's... Like, I can follow the river. Let my... It's so weird to say let... My, uh... Oh, I don't even remember what it's called. Fatigue. Yes, let my fatigue come back. But I don't want to have... Yeah, it's weird. Anyway. And now I'm not sneaky, even though there's nothing to see. I am so confused about how sneak works. Now I am sneaky. I don't know. And now I'm going to run some more. This is a pretty little area. Oh, wait. There's a bug. There's a bug. There's a bug. All right. It looks kind of ant-like. Let's hope it's not very durable, shall we? Although it doesn't seem to care about me. Maybe I can leave it alone? Can I pickpocket it? No. It's a scrib. Oh. There's an entry there. I guess I can at least go find out what it is, even if I don't eventually don't go in. There were no side quests that I got. Of course, I didn't try talking to everybody. It just seemed wooden door to Thera's ancestral tomb, which I will leave alone for now. But hopefully that means it's marked it on my map as somewhere that... I can find if I'm interested in entering it. It's interesting that the scrib is not aggressive. I was expecting it to be. Heather. Sure. Not. Oh. Well, this is interesting looking. It's like a fire in the... Oh, it's because it's a hill and there's a guy standing there. Well, so long as the scribs aren't aggressive, I might as well put my weapon away and... Oh, the rain is letting up a little bit. Apparently we're getting far enough away from Belmora. Okay, so just in case these are bandits, and then just so I can check the map, I'm about halfway there. Eh, doesn't take that long, I guess. Hello, peoples. Findulane. Sorry, stranger. My time is short, so get on with it. Okay, I'm a miner in the Shulk Egg Mine, but I'm getting some fresh air. Okay, well, you don't have a lot of time, so I'll leave you be. You are also a miner. Uh, what is your trade? I am a miner. Usually here on Vardenfell, being a miner means you're an engine, an egg miner. Scrib jerky and scrib jelly, quorma eggs, and quorma cuddle are the basis of our Vardenfell economy. What? 
Yes, there are more valuable resources we take from mines. Raw ebony, raw glass, drug wax, Daedra skin, Daedra heart, diamond, ash, salts, and so forth. Forth, And that's good work too. But it's the egg miners that feed Morrowind and bring cash from all over the empire. Huh. All right then. So what do you want? I just, I got what I want, I guess. This is Skulk Egg Mine. Shulk Egg Mine. Huh. And a miner's pick. Uh, do I get in trouble if I take it? I know I'm save scumming, or I think that's what it's called, but I don't want to get in trouble for something so minor as stealing a pick. Long term, I'm eventually going to have to just accept that it may be more interesting to play with consequences rather than using the save button as a... And I'm still trying to learn the system, because it's annoying to have quirk bulb? Okay. Quirk bulb group negative side effects without even realizing you've done something that might result in them. Okay, so I have to come up into the little right, it looks like. To find this other place. Maybe. Oh. That looks dangerous. Definitely looks bigger than the uh, scribs did. How do I tell? And what am I? This is... That's Odoi Plateau. Does that mean that this way is the town I'm looking for? Am I above it? Hmm. Too many unanswered questions. No. This is Odai Plateau. Ode, La Ode is still over to the west a bit more. Okay. Okay, so we'll try and avoid the big thing over there, whatever it might be. Oh, that? looks like a different big thing. That actually looks like one of the crabs. Maybe? Yes. Looks like a moving rock. And there's a... I think it was called a scrib down here. But I should be getting close to Hla Ode, I think. Huh. Guess I just keep heading west. But if there's nothing aggressive, I can probably run. There we go. It's at least way indicators. Obviously it would have been faster to, uh, what am I thinking? Oh, take the strider, but I don't hear a strider yet either, so maybe not. Oh, hey, it's a guard, because this is slot owed. Let's see here, that's the Belmora. Caldera, Nissus. Wow, Waud is kind of central. All right, so you're an officer. Move along. All right, that's fine. Maybe I can find somebody else who will talk to me to tell me where people are. What's this about? All right. Well, Drillin, I can tell you you're in Waud, and if you'll take a little advice, you won't be here long. Folks aren't very friendly here, and they don't like nosy strangers. No offense, Outlander, but if you don't know the Bitter Coast region, you might get yourself into trouble. The Bitter Coast is named for the salt marshes and swamps along the northwest coast. The water is bitter, and so is life, generally. It's mostly uninhabited wilderness, from Sedanine in the south all the way north to the West Gash and the Sea of Ghosts. Claude is a fishing settlement on the mainland near the mouth of the Odai River. There's a fair track along the river inland to Balmora. Narmok is a fishing village on an island farther north, but both places are small, isolated, and poor. This is just a little fishing village on the bitter coast, a rough track, okay? Town of Balmora across the hills, and you can get a ship to Narmok, okay? 
Otherwise, it's a very long and unpleasant walk along the coast south of Tusaidanin, or a much longer and more unpleasant walk north to nowhere. I'm looking for someone specific here. Um, someone in particular. The Red Guard Trasteve is owner and publican of Fat Legs Drop-Off, the only trade house, and Beleni Salavel can get you out of here by ship to Evenheart. Other than that, nobody important here. By the way, this is Kimona Tong country. There are some Kimona Tong people around, and they don't like Fat Lip or Thieves Guild folks. Right, so they're not going to like me, that means. So let's double check my journal, see who I'm looking for. No, no, no. Uh, I'm looking for Razid at Fat Legs Drop Off. Okay, so I am specifically looking for Fat Legs Drop Off. And go to the local map, and I don't see anything yet. So I guess I've got a. Oh, this is Fat Legs Drop Off. That was easy. What do you want? I'm Razid, stranger. This is Laod. You are either a fisherman or a sailor in the Bitter Coast region, or a smuggler. You don't get many pilgrims or tourists here. Are you looking for someone in particular? Are you looking for services? Is there some specific place you'd like to have a visit? Uh, what do you say about someone in particular? Yeah, you talk about that. Services. A few folks in town offer services, but they're either independents, like... Perry and Oriel, the pawnbroker, and Polyacino, or their Kamonatong, and only offer services to their own people. Gotcha. So, what about Dwemer artifacts? What Dwemer artifacts? And that's all he says. Hmm. Little secret? Daedra, you know what they are, right? Well, Daedric shrines are where Daedra cults worship Daedra. Bad people who summon bad Daedra. Stay away from them. Why? Because Daedra are nasty, and the folks that worship them are even nastier. Persuasion. Hmm. I only got 500 gold. Let's try it again. Well, Drolin, if you insist, I must not refuse. Well, I do. So I'm going to ask you about Dwemer artifacts again. Alright, fine. You know what? I don't know that I'm willing to spend money on you. So, let me check my journal again. Dwemer artifacts. Find them and return them to Hobasi. Goblet, bowl, and Dwemer 2. Okay. No, no, close. There we go. Well, there's a locked chest. And there's a fat legs drop off. And he is not. Anytime you're ready. Just don't keep Uni here. I'm Trasteve. This is Laod. Welcome to the Bitter Coast region. Is there something I can help you with? Um, Dwemer artifacts? I don't trust you enough to talk about that. <laughs> Fair enough. Hmm. This is another door to Tla Laod. Wonder what happens what if. Day is today? Interesting that there's just. Gold sitting out on a barrel. Well, what happens if I drop down here? Oh my. I guess that makes sense. Alright, look around. This is La Ode. Now go ahead and ask your questions. Um, eh, goodbye for now. So is this... Well, that was my plan, yeah. That's why I'm leaving. So this is just like a smuggler's den, then? It certainly looks that way. Lots of chests. What's this, then? Oh, hey. I can tell, you're in, tell you you're in hot ode. Okay, so you can barter. Yep. Interesting. What if I try to tell you these shells sell you these dire shard arrows. You'll give me 36 for them. Eh. And what do you have? You have a club, steel short sword, steel left gauntlet. Which apparel am I already wearing? I'm already wearing a... well, it's steel though, and I've got chitin. So 
your wearings. You have stuff that's too heavy for me. You know what? I'll just hang on to it for now. Hmm. Who are you, and what are you doing in Claw Ode? This is the Lamb Galvain. Alright, well, I probably ought not to mess with the opposing guild too much. Find someone else to bother. What do you want? Apparently I can only talk to you about Soul Sign, that's interesting. Probably nothing. Surfutive thieves, a chest, and a chest. It almost feels like this is supposed to be a combat zone, potentially, but I don't know. I was certainly expecting bribery to not be as significant as it has been. Hmm. Speaking of bribery and significance... Alright, fine. Success. This is suitable, Droll. Good. What about Dwemer Artifacts? What Dwemer Artifacts? Dude, I'm gonna try one more time. Nope. There we go. Dwemer Artifacts? What Dwemer Artifacts? Dude, I'm... Grr. How much gold do I still have? 300? Okay, you're at 98. What about Dwemer Artifacts? Dude! Grr. You know what? I have an idea. This is an honor. Background. You follow the trade of smuggler. Okay. What about services? Nope, that's other people's services. Goodbye. Alright. So you don't trust me enough to talk about guy, it. So if you could hurry this up. Okay. Do you now have... I don't know anything about that. Are you sure? You're up to 86. <sighs> okay, so apparently... Um... Mm. Sweet moon, sugar. Bribery was not the path to take this time. But what is the correct path? Because I'm not going to be able to open that locked chest without trying to kill these two, probably. You've won me over. What's your background? You're a traitor. Um. Hmm. I don't know. Barter. He's got quite a bit of stuff, but no, it doesn't look like he has moon sugar. Hmm. Goodbye. What am I supposed to do? I wonder if she heard me say that. Because I can't sneak. Well, hold on. Let's do this. Oh, right. It's locked. I can't do that. Hmm. See, if there weren't two people here watching, maybe there's an inn and they'll leave after a little while. Find somewhere that I can sit and rest. Okay. How do you recognize a Daedric Shrine? Well, they've got long, funny names like Asher Nabibi and Zainterarius. Some are well-known sites like Ald Sotha and Balfell, and stone and architecture is unmistakable. Big, dark, gray-green stone ruins. Funny angles, funny markings, and patterns on the stone. Weird, oval, crooked doors, and inside, all funny angles. Hmm. Good to know. The prey approaches. So, there was the ability to know 17 last seed. It's currently 6 p.m. Okay. Cancel. Okay. 
Okay, so there's the boatman. My time is precious, so make this quick. This is uh, somebody's house again. Somebody else's house again. Still a guard. If I come in the back. Good friend. Oh. This is an honor. Well, that wasn't effective. See, I wonder if they're not just in that chest. Or that one over there. But the trouble is... There's too many people watching, so I can't just nick off with them. These people are fairly observant. Are you sure there's someone else you can bother? Probably. <laughs> Do you still have that invisibility potion? Yeah, but if you interact with anything, it goes away. I ask myself, do I like you enough to tell you about this? Well, the people who do like me enough aren't willing to tell me anyway. Let's go find the guy who sells stuff. What's this then? I don't trust you enough to talk about that. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. <clears throat> On the bright side, nobody's like attacking me for even daring to ask. Still, I don't trust you enough to talk about that. Hmm. Speak, traveler. Trouble is, I'm pretty sure that if I even open a chest... Oh. Wow. They don't care if you look in them, so long as you don't... Well, on the bright side, I can use that to my advantage. I can go find out if it's any of the chests down here easy enough. And go from there. Plenty of gold, but no dwemer artifacts. Hmm. Alright, what if we go swimming? with gold, possibly a probe, and I don't know what that thing is. Ah. There we go. Come on. Okay, so this is a dead end, but dead end with armor that isn't for some reason when I highlight stuff now it's not telling me what it is that doesn't seem right did I accidentally hit a key that shuts that kind of thing off oh crap <laughs> not sure what happened there But I suppose there's nobody here to care, so... I am over-encumbered. That figures. Only by ten, though. Oh, hey, common amulet. Good. So if I'm only... This is twenty. There. 
Now we can take these things back to the guy who was selling other heavy armor and sell it back to him, even though it's probably part of his own stash down there. That'll recoup some of my losses from wasting money trying to find Dremer, Dremer artifacts from the two up top. And then I have to figure out where they're... What do you call it? Oh, come on. Where the Dwemer might actually be. What's this regarding? I would wish to barter with you. Seller max. Seller gold is 150. Total sold is 84. Okay. Offer. Thank you. Go! Oh, Jeez. Apparently he puts it on if you sell it to him. That was unexpected. What the heck? You're missing a piece. Barter. Weapon. Of course, now I'm going to have to fight him and he's going to be heavily armored. That'll just figure. Maybe. Alright, what time is it now? It's 9 p.m. Cancel. Let's see if they are still in here. Dude, what the heck? Why are you still here? You're a lot more refined than most tourists I've met. I like that. <laughs> Sweet moon sugar. I guess that could have been an idea, as if I'd brought moon sugar. Maybe I could have bribed him with that, but... Mm -hmm. Sweet skooma. Alright. Just for fun. Miscellaneous. Grab a lockpick. This one yep. is no more. My crime has been reported. Lock is too complex and my crime has still been reported. <laughs> They're not in this one. Oh, yes, no, they are. The Dwemer Tube is in that one. And the Ornate Dwemer Goblet and the Ornate Dwemer Blowl. Okay. Well then. What do I have to do? I can't kill them. I can't imagine eating one of those things. Hmm. I mean, I probably could kill them easy enough, but you're a lot more refined than most tourists I've met. <laughs> I like that. So persuasion just increases or decreases their attitude towards you. A trader, general merchant, weapons, armor, clothes, books, miscellaneous items of all kinds. Ask about skooma. Skooma is an illegal narcotic substance made from refined wound sugar. Criminals use it as a kind of currency. Say it makes you fast and strong, but clumsy and stupid. Of course, I want nothing to do with it. Now, if I come ask you about skooma, what do you say? Nothing. I can't ask you about skooma. Your background. You follow the trade of smuggler, which we knew. You say, what Dwemer artifacts? I don't know that intimidating you would be a good idea at this point. You could bribe him for ten and try to get him a hunter. No, nope, it went down. Oh. You insult me, Drolind. If I go with a hundred again, back up to ninety. Dwemer artifacts? What Dwemer artifacts? Dude, you are annoying me. Goodbye. Hmm. And you can't barter with him, so you wouldn't even be able to give him... Hmm. But, uh... I don't want to use the gold, so I'm going to reload.
Yeah, because I was at 98. I guess I could try going a bribe 100. Yay, he's at 100. So now if I say Dwemer Artifacts... Yeah, what Dwemer Artifacts? You are not useful. Goodbye. Now, he was the only one that cared that I attempted to lockpick the thing. The other guy didn't seem to mind. Or at least didn't attack me. It's just strange that they never leave. 13 or 4 hours later, it's 3 a.m. They're still in there. This guy's gone. There's still other people out and about, though, but... They really don't give you a good indication of... Okay. So, magic. Elusive invisibility. Equip a lockpick. I am now stealthed. I am now not stealthed. I am again. And now my invisibility is gone. Hmm. Oh, it just unlocked? Yeah, well, I was able to successfully unlock it while invisible. The trouble is, I would need another one. By chance, do you sell invisibility? You've won me over. Barter. Magic. Spoiled. Bargain. Bargain. Spoiled. Nope. Nothing about invisibility. She heard me say that. You can't escape. Ah, oh, but I have escaped. Run! <laughs> well, I suppose that's part of being a thief, maybe. It was a whole lot of effort to not really accomplish anything unfortunate. Well, I got the Dwemer artifacts, but I don't like the way I did it. It was slow and meandering and... Eh. I guess it's just a matter of figuring out how things work over time, unfortunately. Bitter Coast Region. Who are you? You're on your honor. Don't press your luck. Rio, you are greetings. You should take care while in these parts. There are murderous outlaws about. No telling what might happen to an unwary traveler. Murderous outlaws. Oh yes, these are dangerous times. They'll rob you blind and cut your throat without giving it a second thought. It's a bad idea to carry something of value on your person. In fact, it's probably give me best if you give me that gold of yours. One hundred septims, perhaps? I think you'll find the way less dangerous if you do. I don't think so. I'm going to refuse, which means you're going to attack me. Ah. Hmph. It seemed a small price to pay for your life. No matter, though. I'll have that gold one way or the other. Oh my, that's a big weapon. Uh... Where is my dagger? Ow! 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 Oh my, I'm dead already. Okay. Yeah, let's load that save. Well, I guess that's what I get for talking to some random guy as I... Alright, when did I last save it? before I did the unlock. Well, you know what? If I'm going to risk getting attacked anyway, because the thing doesn't work to past the unlock, I might as well just go. There we go. Take all, and then book it. <laughs> And since they don't leave the zone they're in, as long as I never have to come back and deal with them, it seems like there's nobody the wiser. We'll see. Alright, 
And then now I have the uh, valuable piece of information that uh, that guy is very dangerous. He is not just some kind of pushover um, bandit person. Uh, uh, highwayman. Where am I? And where do I want to be? World, please. I'm here. I want to go that way. Another rock creature crab thing. Avoid it. Theoretically. Are they like the... ghosts in Super Mario? Do they only move if you're not looking at them? Possibly. Okay, so there he is. I'm going to walk around him. So that I do not get myself killed. <laughs> May have been able to fight him if I use a heal instead of just trying to swing away at him, but that's not... They have not done a lot of combat. Maybe that's a bad thing. Maybe I need to be doing more. I guess when I go after the other, the Fighters Guild, whatever it's called, combat will be more probable there. But for right now, I'd like to get through the Thieves Guild to start. Of course, I keep spending all of my money on bribes that don't do me any good, so I'm not sure that's as useful as I'd like. Oh my, there's two of them. Okay. They look like bigger versions of the other things, though, but for some reason I get the impression they'd be more aggressive. So I'll happily sneak past them instead. Continue on my way to Belmora. Well, that could be a more mature version. Yep. Yes. Adolescents instead of babies. Yep. It's a grub of some sort that I'm going to steer clear of. Although I suppose if I wanted to uh, combat it... Oh! You started it. Just keep that in mind. It was a Quama Forager. Okay. Good to know. Must keep heading north, though, not just east. Not sure running through the swamps is my best bet, but I'm guessing that I have a better chance with um, beasts and creatures than I would with humanoids at this point, since the one humanoid I encountered kicked my butt rather soundly. Well, you know, it's just like real life. How's that? The humans are the dangerous one. The creatures are, you know, just kind of there. Yep. Gotcha. At least in our house. <laughs> yes, I suppose we humans are more dangerous than the cats in our house. Unless you count accidental scratches and stuff. They're more likely to hide than anything else. True story. Hmm. What a flower. Okay. Interesting. It was a glowy flower. Those are the best kind. Yeah. Uh oh. That's concerning. At something flying with a long whippy looking tail. And this is bad because I think I'm stuck. Let's see if I can go around this hill.
Just passing through. Nothing to see here. Uh, I'm going south now. I don't want to go south. They might have to go south to go back north. I don't know. Yes, there we go. This is the Escadian Isles region. And I am still making progress towards Belmora. Actually, I think this is roughly where I was when I started, so if I keep following this water, I should reach the entrance where I left Belmora here shortly. I can go turn this. These Dwemer artifacts, actually. Check my journal. Hm, it did not update my journal. I'm hoping I have the Dwemer artifacts. I thought I said take all. If not, I'm... yeah, this will be bad. No, well, I guess I have enough that I can start running again. I'm close to the... Um, where Sugar Lips is. Pretty sure I just have to get back across the local. Yeah, there we go, South Wall Corner Club. I have to actually make it through first. Suppose I'm in town, I should be trying to sneak. See if I can't increase its skill level so that I can do better at it when it matters, like when I'm trying to steal something from a vendor and a weird uh, kajit. I wonder if I was supposed to kill him. It's possible. Like the whole bit where he was supposed to bring stuff and... Alright, check your lips. Dwemer artifacts. Yep, here they are. Okay, journal has been updated. I got three Master's Locks picks. Oh, nice. Two Journeyman's Probes. Also nice. And a Journeyman's Armorer's Hammer. I don't know what that is. Um, so if I ask you about the Dwemer artifacts again, you said you brought the artifacts to your good friend Habasi. Okay. Uh, what about advancement? Nope, still need to do more jobs. Okay, well, what jobs do you have then? Relan Hollow died recently, but left a bottle of vintage brandy. The vintage brandy is in Hollow Manor. Bring this brandy, brandy to Habasi. Is Hollow Manor the one that we... No. Bummer. Okay, so we didn't get the key. Warm day to you, friend. Alright, so that took a while, because I was running around trying to find a non trying to find a sneaky way where I didn't get discovered to gain the Dwemer artifacts and no such luck. But it didn't appear that I that it mattered. Um, each zone is supposed to have its own recognition of theft and stuff, so I should be okay as long as I don't have to go back to Hlad Ode again. Anyway, thanks all. Hello all, and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button below. You can also subscribe using the channel image in the center of the video. If you are interested in more content in this video series, to the left is a link to the full playlist. Alternatively, when it is available, to the right will be a link to the next video in the series. Thanks all.